Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned in to the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow passenger stopping in with you guys to take a look at the BTC price action. Looks like I found something that's worth sharing, that may be worth sharing. You let me know down in the comments section if it's worth it. Um, and also, if you guys are just joining us, hit that subscribe button. Let us know uh, if you just subscribe so that I can personally welcome you into the charts. And the YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel, guys. So thank you for your support, including our lower subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive into this BTC, BTC chart, and let's get into the details here, shall we? All right, so today is January the 18th, 2021, and the current price of BTC is going to be $35,966.39, fluctuating there. It's up about 0.3% for the day, okay? Now, in order to understand the lines that I have on the chart, I'm going to have to, like, back out. So here's everything that I found, guys. That's it. So for those of you who have, I'm going to leave a link for the video just explaining why we have this green line over here. This is something that I had on the chart ever since BTC was at $11,000, just so that we're clear. And now this red line down here, it represents the um, the support, financial support in the markets. Again, hopefully we'll leave a link so you guys can check out that video. Now let's just go ahead and get a microscopic view on what I found in the charts here. So. BTC is obviously just kind of walking up the stairs. And uh, with these two ranges, I'm going to kind of separate this range here if you can see that it price ranges in between 10,300 all the way up to this green line which is at about $22,000 and I'm going to compare what happened there uh, to what's going on in present day here this circled area here and about of course 22,000 all the way up to $40,000 so let's first uh, focus on this area the first area that we circled here so let's kind of zoom in and I'll explain um, why I'm saying that we're probably going to get a breakout sometime over the next four to five days okay again breakout consisting of to the upside of the downside i'm going to have a neutral stance um honestly i'll let you guys know towards the end of the video where i think the price is going to go so let's just go ahead and uh, focus on what we have here so this white line obviously when well, obviously if you guys don't know the white line represents support okay btc has been getting some finding beautiful support these are the daily candles ever since coming into contact here uh near the october the 18th 2020 uh price range okay and uh, hopefully it's pretty clear that BTC bounced off that line, found support. And I'm going to explain what these uh, rectangle, well, triangle areas mean here. Okay, so let's just zoom in on that. So this is really simple. BTC found support on the white line. It broke below the first triangle, which is actually represents one daily candle to close a body, the full's body below that line. Okay, that's one day right here, if you can see that. The day of uh, November the 27th, it closed below that support line. And of course, the buyers quickly put, picked that price up. Like, listen, sellers, I don't know what you guys are doing, but um, it's not going down right now. We're, we're cranking this price to the upside. So, you know, I guess I have to say that. That's the story, guys. I specialize in that, okay? Bear with me here. Now, also in this other triangle area, this is going to represent seven days. Now, we're not going to, I'm not going to consider the breakdown. This breakdown candle, you see that red candle there? December the 8th, that's the breakdown candle. And of course, this green candle here, December the 16th, that's the break up. So the only days that I'm going to be counting is this little clustered area of candles right here, which if you count on the screen there, it represents seven days, okay? So hopefully we're all clear about this little small, I guess you can call it a fractal that I've followed, okay? The white line is support, okay? Support, one day broke below the support, closed below the support line, and then we had a successful seven days to close below the support line before the next move, okay? stick with me here so let's go over to present day and see what we have to see if we can potentially find the same price activity that has taken place already hit the like button if you guys enjoy the content so far so the same thing here guys it looks like there was a uh, support line this white support line here and of course this is the new range between like 22,000 or like 21,000 here all the way up to 40,000 so it's, it's a very large range I get it guys but I, I focus more on the macroscopic stuff guys I'm, I'm better with that and sometimes I get that wrong I'll be honest all right, so this one candle here, we're just comparing comparing it to what we just t took a look at. So the January the 12th candle will be represented at this candle here as a full successful candle to close below this uh, white support line. Hopefully you guys can see that. So where we are present day is pretty much we're waiting to see if within the seven days, if it's going to play out how it did uh, what we've already uh, did an example of. This is going to be January the 15th. This is the official break below the support line. So within seven days, right now we're we're up against three days. So let's, what is the seventh day? Four, four, 
five, six, seven. That's going to be January the 22nd. Uh, we should have a move either to the upside or the downside. But of course, if this is a fractal and it's going to repeat history as it did in the past, then the breakout would be to the upside. And we'll probably extend this over just a bit because we might be running out of room in that fractal there. So yeah, it extends out to uh, January the 22nd, I think I said. Yeah, January the 22nd, which would bring the price somewhere around, let's say somewhere around here, okay? So again, assuming that we have some sort of uh, support, uh, stepping in some financial support, stepping into the BTC price here, then it will likely stay within this kind of triangle area, right? And they get a break out to the upside by January the 22nd, 2021. I thought this was interesting. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think? Maybe I'm way off, that's fine. I'm okay with being uh, off about this, guys. It's just pure speculation, not, of course, uh, financial advice. So uh, leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you guys enjoyed the content. Again, leave a comment. Let me know where you guys think the price is gonna go. Are we looking at a severe retracement here in the markets or do you guys still see uh, BTC going to the upside? One thing that I will say in closing here, even if there is a retracement here, uh, the way that I understand candlesticks and patterns and everything, the path is clear to 40,000. Let me just be the first person to tell you that even if, you know, we get like a deep retracement, I'm not sure how far it would retrace or even if it will retrace from here. OK, I think this is pretty interesting for the price to kind of stay within this area. And we'll know within within four days, guys. So it's, it's not going to take long. Let's keep our eyes on the price. And the one tattletelling sign that will let us know whether or not this fractal will not play out. Let's close it out here, guys will be one level for me okay and that's going to be so if you guys take notes thirty four thousand and forty nine dollars and 16 cents you can just write down thirty four thousand dollars so if btc is breaking down below thirty four thousand dollars then yeah we're probably in for a reasonably sized correction but if not then expect that fractal to play out guys to rip to the upside and uh, that's pretty much it guys thank you for your time take care of yourselves uh, before you go we also cover the uh traditional markets if you guys are into stocks uh, we cover that seven days a week actually so hit the subscribe button hit the all so we can send you that notification when we come out with those videos and that's um yeah again that's pretty much it guys take care of yourselves protect your portfolio we're going to talk very soon and bye for now guys